Come on, guys. We're at the love's truck stop. My eyes could barely stay open. <laughs> today we got a big day of driving. Yesterday was a big day of driving, too. But today we're going to take you along. Mm-hmm. It's time to get to New York. Let's go. Paco's ready. <laughs> the first challenge is walking in the rain. <laughs> Look at all this crap we got. Oh. Mission accomplished. All that stuff used to fit in our other van, no problem. This van definitely has way less storage. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Come on, let's go. Go ahead, go ahead, go, go that way. Go to Mama's. Go to Mama's. Go. <laughs> Your turn, Frank. <laughs> let's see some moves. Tuck and roll. Ooh, you didn't know, I'm also 21 weeks pregnant right now. It's a little bump update. Bumping. First problem of the day, we had a screw come out of that window. Gotta fix it. Luckily, in this mess on the floor, I have a bag of tools and a drill ready to go. Uh, it doesn't look like it wants to go in. <laughs> what happened? A bug landed on me, Frank, when I'm waiting for you. <sighs> well, that wasn't easy. We've got two other things going on with the van right now. The first is that our plumbing is still not working. We bought the pump to fix it, but we haven't been able to like test it and blah, blah, blah. So we've got this gallon, I don't know how many gallons, four, four gallons. And that's our only water source. I guess clean at least out. we have one. Yeah, right. Just cleaning out the cup from my prenatal vitamins. Ah! No, good thing nobody was standing there because I didn't check. We had a problem with the back battery. I don't know, whatever. But so we only have 12 volt power, which is great because the fan worked last night in the bed, which was necessary but we can't plug anything in like no electronics no computers and we can't even plug in our ice co fridge we can't plug it into the house that is we do have a solution though right underneath that towel i guess it is is a blue yeti and this right here is a little power bank called all powers and this kept us through the night in the sense of being able to charge our phones and whatnot so we have 120 through those two things they also have 12 volt but we do have 12 volt in the van Speaking of 12 volt, let's shut off that fan. Cause it's time to hit the road. One thing I have to make sure I do, no matter what time of the day it is, when we're driving, I have to make sure to do this. I know you don't like the grass, but come on. Come on, Paco, you gotta come on the grass. You're being so weird about it. We took it to a mechanic in Florida and he did some stuff. <laughs> um, but there's still a noise that Frank doesn't love and the mechanic doesn't love it either But he said we'd be fine to get to New York We just have to make sure everything is good along the way And so the first time that we drove a big drive we actually ran out of oil in the vehicle. It's our first breakdown oh. It's very low We don't want that to happen. So we're checking the oil quite frequently We've got three goals for today. One, don't overheat the engine. We're gonna be watching all of our temperatures and fluids very closely. Two, spend as little money as possible on anything other than gas. This van has already cost us an arm and a leg, and so we're trying to keep our credit card as low as possible. Starting the day with a couple of Love's beverages. This set us back about four bucks. Third goal, try to make it to New York. We have about 12 hours, 11 and a half hours left to drive in. I don't know if I wanna do a full 11 and a half hours of driving in this bad boy. We'll have to, we'll see how she operates. Also on the GPS, if it says 12 hours, it's probably more like 15. 13, 14, in this somewhere road. around there. All right, let's hit the road. For everybody out there dreaming about van life, just four short years ago, we were in your exact same position and decided to embrace the unknown. Super fun, we got to add South Carolina to our list of states that puts us at 41 states that we've visited since we moved into the van. 
All of these destinations have taken us on a wild journey. We've met so many people who shared their stories with us, enjoyed breathtaking landscapes, and pushed ourselves beyond our comfort zone. Some days on the road can feel completely ordinary, but the real trick to enjoying van life in the long term is turning those ordinary experiences into extraordinary memories. So now you have a choice. You are capable at any time of changing your life and doing what you dream of. Are you gonna embrace the uncertainties that life on the road has to offer? Or maybe like us, your dreams are shifting and changing. We're getting ready to welcome new life into the world. So we have to embrace the reality that our lives are changing forever. I feel like crap. We've only been driving for like maybe half an hour, but half a cup of tea on an empty stomach is like for me right now. Before I was pregnant, I would literally drink my tea and then not eat anything until like 11 or 12. Now I have to eat something before caffeine. <laughs> I get super jittery and I just feel like, Ooh. Well, we got stuff blocking it over there. Oh yeah, I found the good stuff. Oh. Cookie Field Mama banana bread. I feel like carbs is the answer. <sighs> That'll do it. Oh man. I haven't puked once during my pregnancy, but that felt close. Bread before caffeine next time, for sure. All right, we're ready to get back on the road. This is the reason why this drive is gonna take a very long time. Because Frankie always has to stop. What's up with that? Do you really think that's the truth? <laughs> Second bathroom break was brought to you by Frankie. He called it. I went. <laughs> it, was a, it was a very large coffee. Paco sometimes steps right in it. Oh. And Frank and I were just talking about how you're supposed to wash your hands in the toilet after you're done. No, oh, no, she said that's a Canadian. <laughs> Frank, help me. I can't bend over. Hey, Baba. Have some water. Come on. One of the funnest part of Southern road trips is seeing all of these billboards for Bucky's. They start hundreds of miles before you get to the store, so it's impossible to miss. How warm she is. Just comfortable temperature at the moment from what it looks like. Sweet. We just put a half a tank of gas in because we had to stop because this is the last Bucky's in all of the South. We're about to be in no Bucky's land. And so we had to make a pit stop at the best truck stop, pit stop, road stop ever. Bucky's. Since the early 80s when they opened their first location in Texas, Bucky's has been serving up roadside favorites for travelers all along the South. The store is still owned by its founders, so technically it's a small $500 billion business, but the actual store itself is ginormous and you'll be able to find everything you need. Of course, Frank got a giant beverage. He did sweet tea, unsweet tea and lemonade. A small bag of beaver nuggets. Apparently these kulashas are very famous, I don't know. We got a cherry one. A bag of beaver chips. Basically homemade potato chips. Very good. And then for lunch later, Frank got the sliced brisket sandwich, which was almost $9. And I got a veggie burrito, which was only seven. <laughs> 
So 23 bucks for a bunch of snacks, a big drink, and food for later. Pretty good. Every time you stop to get gas, you're supposed to check your oil. And I'm definitely gonna do that in this bad boy. Is that for all cars or just old cars? All cars. Really? All cars. That's how you know for sure that you're not having any issues. We're good. She's full. Ready to go? And if you couldn't tell, it's getting to be the hottest part of the day. This will be the ultimate test for the engine and the cooling and all that kind of stuff. So, let's roll. Wow, one stop shot. Sometimes she goes right away. It's so old school, but it still says fast in your seatbelt. Not for me, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm just drinking a lot more fluids. Like, I think a large... This would make anybody have to go. But I'm not the one slowing us down at this point. Just want y'all to remember that. I'm definitely not slowing us down. I'm the one driving. Can't okay, <laughs> Almost there, guys. A little bit further. My uh, burrito kind of steamed itself. Mm. It's a little soggy, but it still tastes good. We keep looking at flattestroot.com to see like what type of elevations we have coming up. Right now we're in like the midst of it. This is like the most elevation gain and drop of the whole trip here in the Carolinas. And then there's one other spot that kind of spikes up to 400 feet. So it's not really many big gains. You can see that blue. This blue right here is the gain. When we get to that big climb, at least, it should be a bit cooler by then. Maybe it will be sundown. That's what I'm hoping for. But well, we're ready to get back on the road, get back on the route. We still have about how many hours? Who gives a sheet? <laughs> I don't give a sheet. Let's get driving. Great work, Frank. Thank you. To save money on our gas purchases the whole way along, we've been using Get Upside. So this current one has a 24 cent back per liter gallon. What country are we in? Per gallon. <laughs> per gallon. So it makes it under three dollars. And if you don't have that, just hit the nearest Bucky's because they always have the cheapest gas. <laughs> city traffic. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm we're just like burping. <laughs> we're about three and a half hours away. Um, but we've been getting like caught in this like roundabout little section over here. We're in Maryland right now. And we get to check one on our turn and then we have to do a big clover and blah, blah, blah. And then you get to the gas station and it's not like the open highway gas station. I'm turning around. Where like, come on in, use the bathroom. It's like an inner city gas station where they're like, buy your cigarettes and get the fuck out of here. In order to get a key. Yeah, uh, like... Uh, you know what? Bathroom's down. Right. You know and you're like, hmm. 
So anyways, I used the nature's head in the back. I don't know, man, I'm all cramped up, I feel like. Didn't even see the speed bumps. <sighs> this is the part of van life that I don't like, is like city van life. It's just not hospitable to van life, I feel like. At least in the way that we like to do van life. Wide open spaces and loves truck stops. <laughs> <laughs> So the other really fun thing about driving in the city is that we have restrictions on our vehicle. So we have propane in here, we can't take tunnels, which means the GPS is like, go this way, go this way. And you're like, no, no, I literally can't because if I do, it is illegal and I will potentially get fined thousands of dollars. So then you go try to go a different way and then it throws you in the loop and now we're all kind of confused. I'm pretty sure in New York that fine is like 10 grand. Add that to the cost of sunny. We'd be like way in over our heads. So anyways, I'm trying to navigate Frank without any GPS on here while the GPS is still trying to turn Frank around. I changed mine, but it says we're now two, out, two and a half hours difference because this one's no tolls. Baltimore, what are you doing to us? Oh, oh, oh. Two lanes. Okay, <laughs> the GPS is like, stay in the right lanes. Now go in the left lanes. Now stay in the right lane. Now go in the left lane. Frank's losing his mind. This is why I left New York. <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, we couldn't make it any further. We're about two and a half hours away from New York. Alex isn't feeling great. Just being pregnant and stuff is, you know, it's difficult. So I totally get it. I totally lock herself in the van. I'll open it up, but yeah, today was, today was successful. I'm super surprised on how well the rig is running. Uh, it does have a little bit of a knock, but those are the lifters that are knocking and I have to adjust those lifters. But for now, I'm heading inside to grab something to eat. So I'll pick you guys up in the morning. Had my banana bread breakfast. Feeling a little bit better in the stomach today, which is great, but still like, I don't know, I had some like pains and stuff last night. I'm thinking about preeclampsia because I've been learning about it. I'm like, oh, that's bad. So we're going to try to find um, somewhere where you can go get your blood pressure tested, like at the pharmacy, and hopefully it's normal. And then I can just forget worrying about that. But we're only about three and a half hours from our destination in New York City. So let's get over there. I was able to set up my old Easy Pass, which is kind of cool. And I had an existing balance. $29.91. It's gonna cost us $29.96. And they automatically update it with $20 worth. <laughs> I'm sure we'll use the other $20 getting out of New York or somewhere. We haven't paid a single toll yet, all the way from Florida to Maryland. We did have that issue last night, but there would have been a toll with the tunnel that we couldn't take. Obviously we avoided that really smoothly. Now we've entered the land of the tolls and it's just gonna be one after the other, but so having the easy pass definitely makes it way better. A lot more easy, some would say. Oh my. That easy pass has been all the way to Panama and back. You live with me in New York for the- It's pretty wild. I live there. The, that there. easy pass is old. Oh yeah. She's seen some things. Where's the place that when you drive up to it, you are just flooded with memories? For us, it's New York City. I lived here for almost a decade and Frankie grew up here and spent most of his life in the city. So driving over the bridge is always a big event. Hey, dude! The GPS just said, welcome to New York. Yeah, you know how you're getting into New York? Cause it smells like shit right That's before you so, make it. So bad. It smells like Jersey right before you make it to New York. Every time you go over the Gothels Bridge, it's like, woo, what is that? Oh, look at that, babe. What is it? It's the city. How does it feel to be back in New York? Kinda excited, but at the same time, I know that like a week from now, I'm gonna be like, get me out of this place. <laughs> Not because, not because of New York, it's like the energy of it all. You know, like I love New York. It has a place in my heart. Like it's amazing. It's an amazing city. It's a great place to come and hang out and party and, you know, see your family if you have family here for me. But I don't know, there's just something about it that's like, look, we're about to hit traffic.
I don't think there's ever not traffic on Staten Island. It's guaranteed. 100% of the time, you hit traffic somewhere in Staten Island. After getting to New York and that crazy drive in the traffic, we made it to Walgreens because Alex needs to check her blood pressure from how crazy that drive was. <laughs> Being back in New York is gonna be all kind of riled up. <laughs> just by, you know, just making sure everything's all good with the baby coming along. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Baby, no, you don't have to worry. Yay. <laughs> and now we know that they do it here. Frank can take me here every day to get my blood pressure checked. Every day? Every day, you never oh know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the power of the tooth. I touched it and my blood pressure went down. Oh, that's great. It's, it's magic. It's common. Now this is what pizza really looks like. Mm, that one looks good. Now this is New York. There you go. <laughs> it's crunchy, crispy, just the way you like it. That's pizza, New York style. Damn, that was some good pizza. So good, good to be back in New York. And yes. we achieved our three goals in getting here. We didn't overheat. No. We made it to New York, and we barely spent any money along the way. We're pretty good, we did pretty good. Now stay tuned where we renovate the van right on the streets of Brooklyn. Should be FNA.